And there we go, getting a view as Rick Mastracchio moves in uh, to the Soyuz craft where he'll be uh, getting the ride down tonight, giving a final farewell. Again, uh, Rick Mastracchio, the NASA astronaut, part of the uh, departing crew. Here you see Koichi Wakata, the first Japanese commander of the International Space Station. Again, uh, those two and uh, Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Turin uh, sp have spent 188 days in space uh, since arriving back in November of 2013. Three getting ready to load into that Soyuz craft and then close the hatch between it and the International Space Station. Following that, they'll be uh, getting into their Sokol launch and entry suits and then strapping in for the ride down uh, with their planned landing tonight at 8.58 p.m. Central. Here now, Mikhail Turin, who will be the commander of the Soyuz craft uh, during its operations this evening, uh, getting ready to load in as well. Turin again, 13th now on the all-time endurance list with over five, with 532 days spent in space uh, spread across three different space flights. How is the video? MCC Moscow. Uh, we see you very well. A very good picture. Okay, that's good. Copy. So Turin now moving the hatch into position. He'll be responsible for closing the hatch on the side of the Soyuz craft. And then uh, one of the two cosmonauts, either Alexander Skortsov or Oleg Artemyev, will uh, do all of the closing and uh, latching on the station side. Following this hatch closing, they'll be doing a uh, number of leak checks to verify the vehicle's in a good config. But there we have uh, the hatch getting closed. Closed on the Soyuz side at 2.25 p.m. Central Time. And there, Russian cosmonaut Alexander Skortsov working on the uh, station side to close the hatch. Vostoki, MCC Moscow. And just there, Alexander Skortsov working to uh, close the hatch on the station side. The unofficial hatch closure time right now, 2.26 p.m. Central. 